the inner layer of the, these is constructed out of this kind of thing, this kind of thing. You make it a little triangle out of a, out of a six loop. You just push in every second corner, like a triangle. You attach a five loop to it. And now that one corner of five loop plus one corner makes a six loop and you can make another triangle. You keep okay, five loop on. Another five loop. That's four. So there's one, two, three, four that there'll be you start with a triangle of six, you put on four more five loops, and the very last one, because it's going into two triangles, it'll just be a four. Make a triangle. Just make it good. You make a couple of them. Alright, now you, you build triangles, like um, bigger triangles out of this pattern. Now I'm going to join, every time you join together two triangles, you use a four. And you go on adjacent corners of the four. So that's it, not there, but the next one around like that. And you push it together like that. And there'll be another four in there. Three. Um, you can pre-make things if you wish. I've made up a three there, but you've got to turn these triangles into little, well, the equivalent of a five loop. Put them on. Make sure they're squeezed into triangles. triangle. Now, the triangle, the edge of the octahedron is like that. Right? So, the edge will be the line down the centre there. And each apex of the octahedron here is these are six loops. This is a, a four loop where the where the apex is. And the four loops you make just the same way, but you've instead of putting six in them, you put four. Mm -hmm. There's one four, and see how it wants to be a corner. And then you build down the rest down to six loops, and at the end you make another four loop. Uh, it'll be here. Okay, so I'll make it five, six, one. And you just start with a with a four loop again. Oh, right, like that. And then there'll be a, this is these are six loops here. Always there'll be a four loop there. One more five, and then another four. And you <laughs> fill the edges. And then you would build down here, make another one, and then you build out your, your whole thing. And then to make the, the next layer of it, which is the outside layer, you put six rings on top of um, like every other triangle so the six rings don't touch each other and they go um, in the same rotation not counter rotated
And then in between those, put a little triangle like that. And then it goes nice and rigid and it's good. You can put those triangles on at any time. You don't have to put them into a gap of three, you can just put them on the edges. You can even like, twist out a line of them. If you want. So I have to turn those over each time. And you put another six ring in. Oop. Another six ring. Now the only place where that's slightly different is um, edges. So where, where the edge of the Where that happens, you don't put a triangle into it, you put a six ring like that, right, and there's a little hole there. Into that hole, you just put a single one. Six ring on it, and then into the hole you put a single one. Right. Six ring, go all the way up to the corners. You do that. Now you might think it doesn't look anything like that yet. To make it look like that. All you do is put little furrings in there. Bam, and you get that pattern. Just like that. Bam. And um, do it at the end. All right? You can do it straight away, but something funny happens. It makes it a little bit unstable when you do that, so you leave that state step till the end. You won't, well, you run less risk of it all collapsing on you. This step, this step actually took me ages, right? Until I figured out that you could put spaces in to hold the thing apart. So you have one, two, three, four. You make a loop. And then you put it like a little triangle into there. And you try to make sure the other ones sit each one. There, in this, in this, in this, this is the one in the center of that, the gap just under it there, all the way around, and it's a bit tricky to do. And then you've got to put a spacer in each of the little holes there to stop it collapsing when you do the next step. Doesn't always work, you might need it to do better spaces, alright? So you've got to learn in and then you take those top ones off. That's actually not not that
put spaces in into that hole, each one of those holes. It's, it's stable enough after you've done it, but it's a bit tricky while you're doing it. A bit problematic. Now you try and take those top, the ones that are sticking out up the top, you take them off very carefully with your thumbnail. What you don't want is for those, the balls that are left behind to fall down. You want them to stick to each other. Like that. So see how they popped up? So I've taken the four four ones that were pointing up. I've taken them off. A few bits of paper. And now you've got a nice end with the six loops sort of structure pre preserved. Okay. Now there's one more bit that's tricky. You make a little shape, you bend off one triangle and then you make a little shape like that. And you put that into the gap. And then you just let it fall down. And there you've done it. I'll do another one. Bend a triangle, make another one. Put it into the gap. You have to feel for the right polarity. Or else make a lot of them. And then you've got that. And if you put another triangle in up on top here. You can see how it's starting to take form. Alright, I'll show one more of these. Um, You know, even though it looks so symmetric, all the polarities of all the different bits of it are all over the place. So you can't you can't just take like I took this one out. I couldn't have taken that one out, it wouldn't have worked. So you it's only because I knew which one to take out, so be careful. 